Hi folks, this is a look at my latest project and it's a pedal power generator and the idea I have here is that I'm using friction drive on a treadmill motor to uh, make DC electricity and then I'm gonna then I I'm gonna store it I am storing it in that deep cycle battery there and I've done things a little bit differently than some other people uh, I've seen a lot of people use a serpentine belt and drive their their motor that way and I'm not sure why they do that and I, I guess it's just because they it makes it a little easier I think for them to keep the keep tension on the motor but this also works very well and uh, I don't really think that you need a, need a belt. I didn't use one in any event. And another thing I've done here is I've got this solar charge controller and the reason I'm using that is because it has blocking diodes built into it so that I don't need to add blocking diodes to this setup can just plug it straight into this charge controller and I bought that charge controller on eBay it was less than fifteen dollars uh, if you look around you can get these things pretty cheap so that's the basic setup now I've also got it hooked up to this small power inverter and that's just a little 175 watt power inverter and it uh, I could put a bigger power inverter on it, but this is just for a demonstration, and I, I had that thing handy, so I just hooked it up. And then lastly, I have this multimeter that I, I bought from Harbor Freight for 5 or $6, and that's just to uh, keep an eye on how much, how much power we're putting into it. So... I'm going to let Janine go ahead and start to spin this. And she doesn't have to go very fast uh, to get it up over 13 volts. Uh, it really does not have to go fast at all. And so, and it's not hard to pedal it. I mean, I could pedal that thing for an hour and a half without uh, getting in the least bit tired. Anyway, when she's pedaling it, you can see that light on the left is a green light and it comes on when this thing's getting a charge. So that battery is getting charged right now. And then we, uh, <clears throat> we can see that the, the green light is on on the inverter, meaning it's all powered up. So this battery is a a 20 amp hour battery. Uh, now I could hook a couple of batteries up in in series and power, uh, you know, have a longer life. But in this case, I'm just I just have the one battery on there. Now all this this wiring here, it, it might look complicated, but it really isn't. Uh, we have one set of wires is coming from the motor and that's going into the charge controller and then the uh, then the power comes out of the charge controller and gets hooked up to the battery and then I have the then I have the, the power inverter hooked up to the battery as well so it looks complicated but it's not and it works pretty well uh, it really is not hard to pedal it and keep it up over 13 volts it really just isn't just keep a steady pace on there and I think that in an emergency this could really be a handy thing especially for people in an apartment that can't have solar power or, or run a gas generator uh, this could power give them give them enough power give people enough power to 
charge cell phones and and tablets and and probably even a laptop computer so I think this is a, a good thing for people to have I really do and just for fun I'm gonna turn on this light that I have hooked up to it so we can see that it it will power that one electric light I wouldn't want to put a whole lot more put a whole lot more on there than that uh, it probably would also power a, a laptop if uh, if the battery if the battery wasn't installed in the laptop you could you could power it on a small laptop so this whole setup here uh, I paid seven dollars for that bicycle at a at a yard sale and I had this this scrap wood hanging around and I, I cut it with a handsaw so you don't even need a power tools or anything to make this uh, although I did use an electric drill and that charge controller I paid about fifteen dollars for that on eBay uh, you need to look around for them but you can get them pretty cheap and that battery I guess is probably about thirty five dollars and this little inverter here I paid about twenty five or thirty dollars for it I don't remember it's been a while so the whole thing uh, not counting that that treadmill motor is we got so we get seven and thirty five is forty two fifty seven seventy seven it's about it's under a hundred dollars uh, it's well under a hundred and a few hours labor and it really uh, is self contained. Uh, one of the good things about this little inverter, by the way, is it has a USB port on it, so you could easily charge cell phones and so forth with it. Anyway, that's about it. Uh, this is a, a worthwhile thing to have and uh, not hard to make. And I hope it gives people some ideas. So, thanks for watching.